There are these unsightly skin growths known as the barnacles of aging, and they can appear in highly visible locations such as the face and the neck. Now, the formal name for it is something called seborrheic keratosis, which may start to appear in middle age and beyond. Now, here to explain what they are and what to do about them is dermatologist Dr. Michelle Henry of Weill Cornick. Cornell Medical College, New York. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So yes, seborrheic keratoses, or we call them SKs for short. These are benign skin growths, and we actually see them in 83 million American adults. There are raised variants, and there are also flat variants. Um, sometimes you'll hear them referred to as age spots, or as you mentioned, the barnacles of life, because they kind of accumulate on our skin over the course of our lives. So when you're looking for them on your skin, what you're looking for are raised areas, they can be a little bit waxy and they range in color from flesh toned to pink to brown to black. And I see them in both my male patients and my female patients and I often find them in highly visible areas to so the face, the neck, or the chest. And although as a dermatologist I treat tons of them, I see them each and every day, we still don't know exactly what causes them. We know that we see them often in the fourth and fifth decade of life and we start to see more as we get older. I also notice that in my office when patients come in and they're absolutely covered with seborrheic keratoses, they they often say, you know, my mom had them or my dad had them. So we think there's a strong genetic or hereditary component as well. So what potential impact uh, can this condition actually have on someone's health? So although seborrheic keratoses are completely benign, they're not life-threatening, oftentimes I find that my patients find them unsightly. So they want them removed for cosmetic reasons. And what types of treatments uh, allow for that to be removed? So we've been treating seborrheic keratoses for decades, and historically what I would do in my office is that I would either burn them or I would freeze them. But I learned that my patients started to find that to be a little bit uncomfortable. So as you know, I'm here with Escada, and Escada is a 40% hydrogen peroxide topical solution indicated for the treatment of raised seborrheic keratoses. And it's actually the first and only FDA-approved treatment for raised seborrheic keratoses. So this is what I'm using in my office. So it's a procedure that's performed in the doctor's office. It's very simple. I use a, a single-use sort of pen with a soft tip applicator, and I use that to apply the medication to the seborrheic keratosis, and that's the treatment. As with all treatments, it's not for all patients. Common side effects include itching, burning, scaling, redness, um, sometimes crusting, and more severe reactions have been reported. So it's really important that if you're a patient seeking to have this procedure, that you have it with a trusted healthcare professional. So how quickly does it work, and what's the recovery time like? So typically a patient comes in, I apply the treatment and they go home I see them again in three weeks if they need another treatment I do it then and typically patients are, are cured within one to two treatments that's my experience in the office so we can get rid of these in a number of weeks that's excellent news way more comfortable I imagine than like you said burning or freezing them so if somebody wants to learn a little bit more and see if it's right for them uh, where can they get more information so if you want to learn more about the procedure you want to learn more about SKs or to find a provider for you you can go to escada.com and that's e-s-k-a-t-a.com and there you'll find the full important safety information as well as patient information as well dermatologist Dr. Michelle Henry thanks so much for your time today Thank you for having me. Of course. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.